Hi everyone and welcome to this week's quickie. Now first up I need to apologize for not doing last week's quickie and that's because A I wasn't home, B I was not sober and C when I was sober I just couldn't find the time to do it. Um, so that's why it didn't happen but that's okay because it gave me more to talk about this week. So this week I wanted to talk about uh, living and writing. Now one of the things that regularly gets said to me when people find out I'm a writer is to be a good writer you have to write what you know. That makes it slightly hard when you're an urban fantasy writer and you write about paranormal things or science or outer space or any of those things that makes it really difficult for the average person in reality to experience. So I want to talk about how I do embed what I know into my writing and then bring all that fantastic fantasy on top of it. So one of the things that people talk about with my writing is the friendships, usually the protagonist friendships that you know the female character isn't just some slutty useless friend who doesn't offer any good advice or give any good direction to her friend who she can see is spinning out of control or having trouble deciding between two really gorgeous guys or anything like that and I think I base a lot of that on my friendships. I've had some really good friends over the years and a lot of them are still my friends. That's why they were good friends. And those friends have always, if I've gone to them for help and told them that, you know, I'm having trouble with things relationship-wise, life-wise, anything else like that, they've always given me really good advice. Now, some of them haven't given me advice that I would actually take but they've given me advice that they think would be helpful and that's what's important and sometimes by looking at how someone else would deal with the situation we are able to come up with our own ways of dealing with the situation and I think that's important to carry through in my books too because we are always going to make choices and sometimes those choices are good and sometimes those choices are bad but they're a choice and we've made them so we have to stand by those choices after we've made them. So I regularly go away with my friends on a yearly basis and we try to have a really good time and we talk and we just hang out and we just be friends. There's nothing more to it. And I find that really refreshing because I don't actually get out much. I work full time on the weekends. I'm the drive around soccer mum who takes the kids to sports, takes myself to sports. And so the time that I get away with my friends is really precious to me. I really enjoy it. And I really miss having that time on a more regular basis, which is why, you know, after a few years of not having any of it, I made certain to actually schedule it in on a regular basis. So last weekend we all got away. We had the long drive to our destination there in which we talked. You know, there was four of us in the car and we were talking the whole way there. And by the time we got there, we were exhausted, but we talked a little bit more and then we all went to bed and then we got up the next day and we talked again. And this is what good friends do. Good friends talk and they make time for each other. Now, we all have busy lives and as you get older and as you have families, you're all going to run off in different directions. But it's important to make that time not only for your friends, but for yourself to be able to talk and have that time to be with each other and to connect on an adult level with each other. Those weekends away with my friends, those dinners with my friends will always impact and be 
reflected in the friendships, in the good friendships in my books. And I guess at that point, I'm writing what I know. Of course, I made a list of uh, goals that I'd set myself for the month of July and the books that I wanted to work on. So immediately after I made that list and I publicised it on my weekly blog, the muse went and chose a different book that I haven't worked on in over a year and let's work on that now. So that's what I've been working on all week. We're all surprised by that. So those who follow me on social media would know that I've been working on In Bloom which is uh, an urban fantasy about werewolves, which sort of mixes with the whole billionaire fantasy, but it's got a bit of a twist to it. So I can't really tell you much about it yet. I'm just, I'm not willing to share that one to that extent. So while I've been working on that, I've still also been in the background working on Wraith and uh, Fast Hearts. More so just getting ideas set in my head of how I want um, how I want scenes of those to work or getting other scenes that are there that I need to go towards. So this week I did come up with what the final scene of Wraith currently will look like and I think it's a good one and I know it's going to lead into another book so I should really get around to finishing this one uh, but it was really good to get that destination from the muse however it doesn't really help me because the character who's in the final scene isn't one of our current main characters and isn't one of the villains so I'm a bit lost but at the same time, I know where I'm going. Try and work out that conundrum. Uh, and with Fast Hearts, it's still just working out the dynamics of the relationship between the two people whose point of view the, books, the book is from. So Fast Hearts is a dual point of view book, uh, sort of like Spectra, um, without the paranormal elements, obviously. I'm not quite sure about their relationship yet and so that's that's what I'm still trying to work out. It's sort of like a Rubik's Cube just turning it until you get all the colours to line up and then you go, oh, okay, we can write that, we can work with that now. So that's what's been happening in the background. But in the meantime, I've been working on In Bloom. Now when I say working on it, I've only managed to write one chapter this week, but that chapter is an, an extensive chapter. And it's just been plugging in, you know, a couple of paragraphs per day as I go. But as I go through my day, that those scenes are happening and I'm trying to sort out the finite details. And I do get like this sometimes where scenes don't come easily. There's days where I will sit down and I will write up to 10,000 words in a day because the scene just flows and then there's days where I will get the first chapter out without an issue. But then while I try and work out those more intricate dynamics, it can really be slow going. And I'm finding that with a lot of my stories right now is that nearly all of them have this real intricacy happening and it's slowing me down. So I don't know if that means I'm becoming a better writer because I'm sitting back and actually taking the time to work that out or if I'm getting in my own way of writing because I'm not just able to sit down and write it straight out anymore. And that can also be a reflection of life because I am constantly interrupted by everything that has to be done every day and every weekend that I'm not getting that time to just sit down and just blah out whatever's happening in my head. But we'll get there. The next week's topic, I don't have one. So I will figure that out during the week and I might put it up on social media if I actually figure it out. But in the meantime, if you have any questions that you want answered, now's a good time to throw them in because I don't have a topic for you next week. So you can ask whatever you want. Yeah. 
for this week's questions again I actually don't have any uh, because no one asked me any questions this week I did have some questions from last week the week beforehand that didn't get to get answered so I will answer a couple of them now the only one that I can do for you today is the fact that someone asked about uh, fast hearts and they asked if I could possibly read out a blurb or something about fast hearts because I keep talking about it I guess they wanted me to talk about what was actually in it so this is the prologue to fast hearts fast cars good money and great sex three vices the first led to the second and introduced me to the third now there was no giving them up one of those vices would one day be the death of me I was hoping for great sex in a fast car as my farewell to the world but it would probably be the money they say love makes people do stupid things well greed makes people do bad things and that's where I'm going to stop because I don't want to give away any more of the story but it gives you an idea of where the story is going so that's what fast hearts is about okay so that is all I've got for you today uh, if you have any questions for next week, please go ahead and go to my blog and go to the weekly quickie and the form is right there for you to fill out that you can ask me any question you want and I will answer it next week. Okay, thanks very much. Have a great week. Bye.